Assalamu alaikum dear viewers, I'm Tasnova and I'm from Bangladesh, that's my nationality, but currently I'm living in China for the purpose of my master's study here. Right now I'm a master's second year student, as all of you know that in China master's studies for three years, so right now I'm in my second year. So today in this video I came up with my this painting to show you something so much interesting about this painting to all of you because um, this painting is related to my research topic as I'm already in my master's second year and I already have chosen my research topic which I'm going to work on till my graduation so I decided to do the practical practice of my research and this painting is one of the outcomes as you can see first I'm going to show you the whole view of this I mean full view of my painting as you can see in the video so here it is So this is a Chinese painting because my major is Chinese painting flower symbols. Although in China, Chinese painting have three more uh, three three classifications. One is Chinese figure painting, one is Chinese landscape painting, and one is Chinese flower symbols paintings. I choose the flower symbols painting because I crazily love animals. Because although the although the name is the major name is Chinese flowers and birds painting but actually in this major you can draw any kind of animal you like and that's why I choose it so the interesting thing about this painting is basically Chinese artists and Chinese students who actually study over Chinese painting they do the Chinese painting on rice paper which is called Xuanzhi in Chinese language so according to my but according to my research topic anyway my research topic is that the difference between Chinese painting watercolor and Western watercolor because when I was in Bangladesh I had my bachelor's degree there so in that time I learned to do the Western watercolor painting but after coming in China I learned to do the Chinese painting watercolor so it made me curious and I really wanted to understand where is the actual difference between Western, Western watercolor and Chinese painting watercolor so I started to work on it And in this painting, I'm done with my Chinese painting watercolor. As you can see, my Chinese painting watercolor. Here it is. I use this painting. This is a Chinese painting watercolor. And this is a Japanese brand. As you can see here, Yan Tai. And I have the name of Japanese brand here, the Eater. Also, I use the Chinese painting paintbrushes. These bristles are made of animal furs, but these paintbrushes are only to use on Chinese paintings, not for actually watercolors. But the important and interesting thing about this painting is that although it is a Chinese painting and it looks like a Chinese painting, but I did this painting onto watercolor paper yes you heard it right this is a watercolor paper as you can see it's thicker and I have texture on it I zoomed it a bit as you can see the texture here so I've done this painting exactly in the technique of Chinese painting uh, as foundation of this painting I used the ink so although this painting looks so much transparent so much transparent but I put it Eight layers of color here so ink for four layers and color for four layers altogether is eight layers of color and the outcome which because I really wanted to see the appearance how it's going to be so finally when the outcome came out I am way too far satisfied than I thought because the view and the appearance is so much amazing in my view because basically we do Chinese paintings on rice paper but I did this Chinese painting on watercolor paper but with Chinese painting watercolor I guess you are getting the point of mine and please comment below that how you like my painting do you think that this technique is so much interesting and should I go ahead with it Oh, 
honestly guys I just love this painting um, although I, I did so many paintings on rice paper I mean Chinese paintings on, on rice papers but never before I get this result which I get after doing it on watercolor paper so here I painted three birds two butterflies and a cat which is looking up on the tree to the three birds just try to make a little fun I showed it to my professor and he loved it he praised about it and that made me so much inspired and excited to work more on this technique although this is not the first time I did uh, um, I used this Chinese painting watercolor on watercolor paper but I think this is the best result I get after till now. Um, this is the best result I get till now uh, in this painting. So please tell me if you have any suggestion to improve my this painting technique, and if you have some better idea. So thank you so much for having a look on it. And if you really like this video, then please give this video a big thumbs up. Share with your family and friends and subscribe to my channel to get the more updates. So till then, everyone stay safe, stay well, and goodbye.